How to run a part in Kubernetes, section 3. In this section, how to run the part in Kubernetes, I'll tell you about pod lifecycle along with pod lifecycle hooks. Video 302. How labels and annotations work with Kubernetes infrastructure. Video 3.3. .3. Deployments, creating a rollout of your pod. Video 3.4. Persistent storage, adding stateful storage. Video 3.5. How to handle arguments and configuration files like config map and the environment variables. Video 3.6 Services connecting your pod or your deployment to the outside world. Pod and deployment lifecycle along with pod lifecycle hooks. In this video, I will tell you about a pod status field. That's an important field to get more information about your pod, possible phases possible values for a phase, the pod lifetime, and defining post-start and pre-stop handlers. First, I will tell you about the pod status field. The phase of the pod is simply a high-level summary of the pod, where it is in its life cycle. The phase is not intended to be a comprehensive roll-up of observations or container or pod state, nor is it intended to be a comprehensive state machine. The number and meanings of a pod phase values are tightly guarded. So pod status field is very important to have a look what your pod is doing at that moment. You can debug really fast what a pod is doing. So you've got some phases. Possible phases are pending. Pending means that the pod is accepted by Kubernetes, but is waiting for something else. It could be that it's going to run somewhere, or it could be that the storage is not ready yet, or you need to mount a config map or something else. Second one is running. That's the best one. Because your pod is running, it's doing its job. All the containers in the pod are accepted and running and doing their job. Succeeded. Succeeded means that your pod is finished. All the containers in the pod are finished and finished with no error codes. Failed, that means all your pods have finished, but one of the containers in the pod failed with an error code. Unknown, Kubernetes doesn't know what happened to the pod, and this is something what Kubernetes sees when your node goes down. So if your node goes down, it will mark it unknown, and it will take five minutes before Kubernetes starts another pod. You can change this value, but standard, it will be five minutes. And then image pullback. That's an important one because this means your Docker image or your image from your container is not available. So these are the pods possible values for the face. So in the pod lifetime, a pod doesn't disappear until somebody destroys them. That can be a human or a controller. And if you have an naked pod, it will, it will disappear when the node goes down, but it will reappear when the node comes back up. So that there are three types of controllers available, a job, and a job expects pod to terminate. So a, a job is something that is doing a task. It's a short-lived pod. So a job can be something that does a script for you, or a single backup, or yeah, something what dies. So replication controller, replica set, or deployments for pods that are not expected to terminate. So those can delete pods when needed. And daemon said that pod will run one per machine. So defining a post start and a pre stop handler. Kubernetes post start and pre stops events. Kubernetes sends a post start immediately after the container is started. Kubernetes sends a pre-stop immediately before the container is terminated. So if you want to have a look at YAML, you can define it like this. So you've got your YAML API version. This is a kind part. So metadata containers, this is the container name, this is the image. So this is the life cycle. This is the important one. So you've got your post start here. It's executing command. Hello from post handler. And it's putting a message in the message file and you've got a pre-stop before the container dies will do quitting a nice quit of nginx 
or you can send a message to the gray log, oh the container is died. So these are post start and pre-stop handlers, very easy.